Okay, that's just a quick video. It's nothing to do with Bitcoin for a change. I have a, a laptop and I was having some problems with the Intel graphics driver. Um, basically, if you go to Device Manager, whenever I was trying to play a game, and it's just a basic game, it doesn't need any high end graphics, I was getting this error Blue Screen of Death, IGDKMT64. Uh, and as you can see, this is a, quite a common problem. Microsoft website, Intel website, the Win, um, Windows 8.1 forum, of, as usual, were no use whatsoever. Just getting this driver IRQL. So the problem is, I went to the Intel website. This is the latest driver. But it wouldn't let me use it because it said I need to contact my manufacturer, which is Asus and they don't have up to date drivers so that was a problem I wasn't allowed to use this for some stupid reason and the ACES drivers are well out of date so that was the issue I did find a quick workaround that actually worked uh, so the driver is up to date now I'm quite impressed but believe it or not it wasn't on <coughs> it wasn't thanks to Intel, it wasn't thanks to ACES or Microsoft as usual it was Baldur's Gate Forum, believe it or not. We've got a, I'll put the link in the video. It gives you step by step instructions how to do it. Pretty simple really. All you do is you download the latest driver as a zip. As a zip file. Unzip it into a folder you recognize. Then you go to your device manager. Display adapters. Right click. Update driver software and then Browse your computer and then let me pick have disk then you browse to wherever your uh, driver is so in my case it was in downloads I put it in this folder you click on graphics and then you click on this twice the int file and then you press OK OK once you've pressed OK, you press Next, and that's it. That will, that will force your laptop to install the latest Intel drivers. It's a bit retarded that you have to do this, but it will work. And as you can see, my drivers are up to date. Um, so I won't have this error anymore, this constant. Just It's just Windows 8.1. They released it with before it was ready to be released, but it doesn't surprise me, because Microsoft are a bunch of idiots.